It's so amazing the emphasis being placed on tilapia fish food. Uh, floating fish food or sinking fish food. Fish food that they um, actually dissolve in the water versus that which floats and stays on the water for a long time. Today the emphasis will be on uh, how long does it take a tilapia to actually mature into food fish that you have on your plate um, from egg to uh, that stage. Stay tuned. welcome again to another episode of fish keeping jamaica welcome to my channel okay so today i'll be looking at um how long these fish that you're looking at will actually well they are about three weeks old right three to four weeks old um how long they take to mature into food fish all right so i removed these fish from my broodstock pond a few weeks ago this is my tilapia brood fish pond, brood fish pond, right? So I remove the fish that you looked at at the start of the video from here about three weeks ago. It looked messy. Yes, it needs cleaning. And I'll do that probably about next two days, right? Because the water on the house top, that's in my container, fish safe container. It needs to stay there for at least three days before I actually use it. And I just fill it up yesterday. Okay, so um the emphasis of this video is how long does it take your tilapia food fish from that stage from you know the, the fry stage to uh the plate size now tilapia go to it can vary and the variation in tilapia uh food fish um baby uh varies based on several factors and it's not only the feed now i have been associated with tilapia for the past four years right that doesn't negate the fact that some persons within the tilapia um fish farming and breeding and keeping arena years before i am i was i got involved is not really more knowledgeable than i am however um, they are hiding from me. I, I place the feed there so that they will come up and you will actually see them. But I guess they are not really interested in me uh, recording them, right? Alright. So, there's a lot riding on experience and anecdotal within my shares. I don't just speak off the top of my head and, and based on the stuff of scientists or persons who have actually gone through it. I have actually applied a lot of the things that... Um, I start to be corrective um, in dealing with situations and I've actually recorded the results. Now, tilapia grows an average of one inch per month. Every four weeks, they grow one inch. So therefore, the 28 days that is always being referred to within my channel regarding tilapia the first 28 days they are kept in the nursery um the first four days they are neither male nor female um all of this is time each time progression within their lifespan there are changes and so reversing now to what i have actually shared with you before regarding tilapia the first three to four days they are neither male nor female their, their their sex is not determined as yet and it is within this period of time that um large farmers will apply the hormone which actually um forces them to be male and they will grow faster they will mature, mature faster um they will generate income and the turnover will be much greater than if they have a mixed stock they keep on breeding and the growth rate is slow so one inch per month and this kind of reminds me of they're coming up back now this kind of reminds me of um of an oscar an oscar fish grows roughly one inch per month right now um after 90 days 
yes after 90 days moving on to about the the hundred days uh, tilapia can start to breed right and so when they're at about probably about um two and a half inches to three inches yes they're about they can give you babies but the amount of babies that they will give you is minuscule based on comparison data comparative data with larger tilapia so the larger tilapia will give you like four dozen or five dozen fries one time the um, two and a half inch three inch tilapia um, they will give you uh, probably eight twelve and most at times they might give you a, a one dozen or a dozen and a half eighteen and usually they will consume the babies so you you would have to actually be around when they are spitting it out and you know yeah spitting out practically spitting it out right um always they will actually chase them down and consume them especially the tank mates right so after about roughly uh six months five to six months uh the whole process of them actually chasing the babies will not exist anymore they will start to leave the babies alone and they will actually just be concentrating on breeding just breeding and so if you have some um seven month old tilapia mixer you can practically be harvesting let's say you have two dozen tilapia mixer within a pond system I can guarantee you that every single morning you go to that fish pond you will see babies swimming at the top nothing will trouble them because they have actually gone away from that time span where they actually consume babies at this stage where I'm at where I'm showing you right now um, these tilapia they will consume babies because these are roughly four and a half months old and so give or take the next two months that will not be a problem anymore they will leave the babies babies will swim and if I want them I want them and um, the babies themselves will end up become problems to other babies because they will grow grow the one inch every month and if they remain in the pond what will happen is that whenever the larger ones do release these babies those now which is about one inch two inch they will chase those babies and actually consume them and so you'll have a problem actually increasing your stock so it's all about numbers and timing as far as tilapia breeding is concerned right um you know that they start to breed at about 90 days old right you know that they give you they will give you an average of about um they will give you an average of about how about uh 18 the max babies adult size i'm talking about like six and a half seven inches tilapia they will not consume the babies um and they will give you like five dozen six dozen one time and this is where the danger comes in especially for the novice fish keeper um they actually end up with too much babies and their system is overcrowded and the entire system just crashes everybody dies because you don't have anywhere to keep them now how I balance off my system in actually maintaining uh, good size in which I can manage and not overstock my ponds is to actually sell them when the opportunity do arrive. Um, I have clients in which I do call up or they call me or they communicate with me and I sell them <coughs> the excess in which I have right as you can see i have i did a video recently where i shared with you how much tilapia can hold in a tote right right now this tote is overpopulated right <coughs> so i am selling some gradually peacefully i'm selling some from this right and as soon as they reach probably about um in three to four inches right they will shift over to this side of my system right and these fish at that time will be about seven six and a half seven months right these fish will be six and a half seven months I will be shifting these fish to where the smaller ones are right 
and the smaller ones will end up become the nutrient provider for my aquaponic system while the larger ones will be grown out probably be divided it and placed into a different you know space in the, like probably one one dozen in one tot and one dozen in one tot and they will be kept for food and for breeding right and at an opportune time i'll consume them or i'll just breed them until i consume them right but i don't sell large fish and there are several personal reasons why i don't sell large fish as boot stock um it's hope that this video really interests you i hope that you understand what i'm saying have a wonderful day guys yeah you get to see you don't it? Have a wonderful day guys. Peace out. Catch you next time. Bye bye.